Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Tomata, and today we are going to be continuing with the campaign. Uh, today's mission is called Chaos Unchained, we'll jump right into it, and I will give some brief overview of the previous episode. So, in the previous episodes, um, we approached the Prophet of Decay, who asked to negotiate with us, uh, and he had captured Klosterheim along with his men, um, being involved in that process, after Nurgle had uh, invaded the Martyr from their void ship. Now there was a a target in mind for why he did this um, and he says that there is some sort of Great One of Nurgle trapped inside the seal which we would use the Inquisitorial Rosette to open so that we can get to the Alpha Pariah. And he wants to liberate what he called the Great One. So he wanted the Rosette uh, in exchange for Klosterheim. I'm approaching the stasis chamber again. Cut through the chaos infestation and get to the psychic barrier. I'm on my way to the seals. Give them no quarter. Now, as you can see, obviously Cross Time spoke to us, so we saved Cross Time. But essentially we got there, and there really was no point in having negotiations with the guy. But from what I can tell of how he described it as a great one, in my mind, um, that struck me as like a greater demon of um, Nurgle. Another one of those ancient encrypted cogitators. The previous data with the shield, but not it. Um, but yeah, it, it made it quite interesting because it makes me wonder if actually when we open it, is this great one going to come out? But it also begs the question of why Uther Tiberius uh, created the seal using a great one of Nurgle. Inquisitor Erald Hamael. Hmm. Have you accessed the data crux? Ready to inload data. This needs to remain confidential, Tech Priest. Understood, Inquisitor. Wow. Interesting. Anyway, yeah. Um, so there's clearly some corruption with this seal, right? So. It begs the question whether or not when we um, release the seal using the Inquisitorial Rosette to get through to the Alpha Pariah, which has been our plan all along, um, whether or not the demon that's within it um, will be released. Now, I imagine um, a reason why they used a Great One of Nurgle to seal um, the Alpha Pariah is because it probably has a lot of warp energy or psychic power which makes it very difficult to um to breach so they, they call on that demonic energy i suppose is what i'm getting at uh i could be completely wrong and full of shit though of course so that you know that is what it is but i'm sure we'll find out very soon but if we do get to fight uh, a great demon in there, it would be nice and it, well it would be nice if the boss battle isn't like the last one where he fought that uh inquisitor which ended up just being a complete one-sided beatdown um It'd be nice to see some mechanics that I have to dodge, I can dip in and hit in and dip out, um, add control, things like that. That would be the ideal thing, at least in my mind. Oh, poison. But it does bear, make me wonder though, um, what are we going to do with the Alpha Pariah once we actually get to them? Because they clearly are able to completely eradicate demons as we found out. Oh, Servitor. Are you prepared for what is to come? I see that you have gained some control over these vessels. The thing in the wells is a trapped presence that has been haunting the martyr for centuries. I have been fighting it, but now, with the seals, Broken. It could be free. I will take care of this thing in the walls, whatever it is. Interesting. Something's in the wall. Hmm. Clearly, chaos corruption's been long sat in the place, then, which the servitor has been trying to fight off. But I mean, there's obviously only so much you can really do. Oh, hello, that's a lot of enemies. Jesus. 
I mean, I knew there was a Nurgle invasion on the ship, but I don't think it was like this. <laughs> but it's just more blood to spill, more guys exploding from hits. We love it. We love to see it. Ooh. Jeez. I'm coming for you, big fella. Apostle and Nurgle. Well, by the sounds of it then, by breaking the seals, whatever has been in the walls haunting the place, which I'm assuming could be why there's a great one inside the seal, would be released, as I seem to allude to and think is the case. So, that, I mean, that makes for a good potential boss battle there. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for big things from it. God, just enemies everywhere. Clap these cheeks. A little bit of lag there. <laughs> Too much going on on the screen, probably. Bang. Well, even though I'm taking a lot of hits here, I'm not really dying or anything. This is interesting. It really is a massive Nurgle infestation in here, isn't there? Just think of me as pest control, I guess. I am ready to use here we go. From the psychic barrier. Magos, are you certain that this won't have grave consequences? The nature of the force field is beyond our expertise. However, if you have doubts about finding this alpha subject, we have analyzed all related data we have gained from the data crocs. Do you have any idea what she could be? Rest assured, she's a healthy specimen, both physically, mentally, and emotionally. I can't comment on her capabilities, though. Hmm. What is happening? Imperial Seal Network collapsed. Barrier destroyed. But that wasn't supposed to happen. Correct. However, with 96.4% of the network destroyed, the barrier couldn't resist the burst generated by the rosette. And what exactly does that mean? Prime seal has been destroyed. Stored demonic essence will be released. Are you telling me that by opening the barrier, I have unleashed that thing trapped on the ship? Correct. Sensors indicate a colossal amount of warp energy manifesting in the stasis chamber. I'll make the necessary preparations on the ship then before I enter. Well, 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 looks like I, I was pretty much spot on with my expectation there. That So, yeah, that's interesting. So, I mean, just to clarify, so before we tried to use our Inquisitorial Reset earlier in the series to, to pass through um, the seal instead of breaking the seal, um, and we were rejected because it was only possible using Uther Tiberius's Inquisitorial Reset. Now... Having got that, the expectation would have been that we could pass through the seal to reach the Alpha Faria inside, not break the seal, because we don't want to, obviously, leave the room completely open to attack from anything while we're trying to find the Alpha Faria. But it seems you have broken it, and as I've expected, whatever demonic being inside of it was there is now released. So it seems like the haunting in the walls is also as a result of this demonic being. So... Yeah, the machine spirit, uh, the servitor we spoke to, was clearly struggling with that. But anyway, that marks the end of this episode. Um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And um, yeah, I will catch you in the next one, where hopefully we have a really nice boss battle. Take care, guys.